Yeah, it's been quite a surreal season, really. I still don't think it's sunk in um, how it all finished with the Vipers and obviously with Brave as well. But to have the opportunity to go out and, you know, for first time around, it was, uh, well, first in was the New South Wales Breakers, which was, um, yeah, it was pretty speechless, actually, to get that opportunity. And I think I'm one of the first to sort of take on a proper domestic contract out there. So um, I guess a, a few nerves around, but also a lot of excitement to, to go and do something that I've always wanted to do. And obviously quite last minute addition was the, the WBBL, which, you know, I'm, I'm truly sort of grateful and quite honoured to have made the call up. And, you know, I feel um, I feel ready. I feel in good form. I feel happy with my game at the moment. So it's, it's quite nice going into these tournaments um, with a bit of confidence behind you, but yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a good winter. Yeah, so I've never played. I, I have been to Australia when I was younger, actually, with my dad, who did two winters out there. So um, it's been a long, long time, almost 20 years. So I can't wait, um, yeah, to, to get the opportunity to go out there. It's something that I've always wanted to do, um, something that I've been really keen on and, and looking at my options over the last couple of years. So to have an opportunity like this was quite unexpected, really. I, I was looking at... Um, a little bit of club cricket but you know I've been told that um, the wickets are pretty nice out there a bit more bounce in them uh, which might suit my game because I generally like to play off the back foot so fingers crossed yeah, it all came out the blue really I remember sort of one morning like I woke up to a, a message uh, I think I was in and around some England stuff and I had Leah Poulton who's obviously the director of cricket out there um, message me saying would you be up for a chat? Like we'd be interested in in having you come out to New South Wales. So, um, yeah, it was it was out the blue. I had no sort of um, preconceptions that anything was in the pipeline or um, any inkling. And all that happened really is George Elwes actually, who, who's obviously my best friend down here, said, "Why don't you reach out to Jenny Gunn about club cricket in Sydney?" Um, and I did. Uh, and then two weeks later. Leah phone saying you know she'd spoken to Jenny she'd spoken to Lottie and I, I seemed like the right fit and Jenny was saying how keen I was to get out there so it kind of all all pieced together nicely um, so I think I've got a few people to to sort of thank for putting in a good word for me but yeah I think it came just as much out the blue to Lottie than it did to me but yeah really excited yeah another one that was very much sort of uh, we were we played up at Northumberland and um, I remember waking up and I'm pretty useless on my phone actually. So the WBBL draft obviously happened. Um, I didn't watch any of it, but you gather pretty quickly with agents and stuff like that whether you've been picked up. So I knew I hadn't um, and knew that I would struggle really. But yeah, I think it was about a week later or something and, and myself and George Elvis went and got coffee and then we went and sat on the bus in what was about to be an eight hour bus trip and I decided to look at my phone and all of a sudden I've got messages from my agent, messages from Luke saying, um, are you free for a chat? And I'm like, okay, this is a bit out of the, out of the ordinary. Obviously I keep in contact with Luke um, from time to time, but yeah, so a phone call came in from him first, which was nice sort of um, to speak di directly to him. And you know, he said he had a third overseas spot available and he'd love to take me on. So yeah, it's quite comforting knowing that you're going out and playing um, under someone that you've worked with and obviously I know Luke pretty well now and he's been a great guy around the Southern Brave group and excited to see him in a head coach role actually. Yeah, I think, you know, they, they seem like a great group and uh, Tali McGrath reached out to me straight away as did um, Wello which was really nice and, and, you know, Luke's reassured me that actually as a group they're quite um, an experienced group I think but, you know, they'll, they'll put an arm around my shoulder and, and ease me in which will be nice and, you know, going to the defending championship Champions. It's it's clearly a good team to, to be based at, and I'm sure they've got a great structure in place too. So, yeah, really excited. And and obviously Danny Gibson, who I know a little bit, she'll be out there being my teammate as well. So um, well, I'm sure we'll look after each other. There's no easing in, is there? <laughs> Just no easing in. You dive straight into the deep end. I think. You know, the same what we experienced here over the 100. I mean, to be part of the WBBO is really, you know, it's something that I've always wanted to do and it's been a dream of mine. I've followed it from a young age. So I can imagine it's very similar to the 100. You can't take a game for granted. Um, every team's strong, every team's got depth with the overseas coming in as well. And 
and the new draft structure that they've gone for this summer, um, I'm sure it'll be, you know, even harder. So yeah, it, it's it's going to be a challenge first game up, um, but nice to see the Vipers are are taking over. <laughs> I hope so. I think it's been really sort of pivotal for the growth of the game. We've seen across our domestic structure this summer that we've had overseas dipping into nearly all the teams, if not every one, um, at times, and it has strengthened the format. And I think with international cricket growing uh, and their schedules getting bigger and more demanding, if those international players are, are going to filter out of more domestic cricket, then at least with the overseas coming in from abroad, it does add that element of well, I guess it strengthens the game even more and, and makes each game um, more difficult and more of a challenge. But you only get better. The, the stronger the, the teams and the stronger the games, uh, the better you know we'll get and, and the quicker we'll sort of develop as cricketers. So hopefully we'll see it happening more across Australia in a few years to come as well.